Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Now today we're going to be using Marowak. We're going to be using Blizzard Marowak and OU because I know for a fact MV is using Ice Beam Marowak in about two hours. So I figured I'd try and get a Blizzard Marowak out just to see which one does better. Now I do think his team is going to do a little bit better than mine just because all I did was take his old team with Machamp. And before I put Urshifu over Machamp because Bandit Urshifu is amazing. And uh, then I got rid of Rhyperior and put Marowak. And that kind of sucks because Rhyperior has a defensive role for the team. Whereas Marowak is, well, this is not his EV spread, but, you know, I tried to envy it up. Basically, I put 16, 16, 16, and then I, well, I tried to cheat right here. I put 16, 16, and 16, and then I, uh, so we got the nice round numbers, you know, 260, 140, 200, beautiful. I actually have enough attack, that way I KO uh, Toxapex, physically defensive with Stealth Rock. No Stealth Rock on the team, because this is the mod that's supposed to have Stealth Rock. And uh, then we have Blizzard over Ice Beam, because we're trying to hit, and we're trying to do more damage. That's, that's it. That's basically it. So if you guys want the team, check out my website, pokeyv.com. We're about to lose so many times today, guys. It's going to be crazy. Also, thank you everybody for all the support on my videos. If you do enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe. On my way to 261,000. I'm actually very close to 261,000, probably less than 100 subs away. So if you do enjoy this and you're not already subbed, feel free to sub. Um, this will be an interesting game. We can blizzard something. So that will be a lot of fun. Oh, I also have uh, Lightning Rod because he has battle armor. And I want it to be different. Uh, have fun, dude. So, pretty weak to Urshifu. Um, Jirachi kind of 6 0s. Want, want to never send out. Yeah, I, I was getting to that. Jirachi kind of 6 0s. Umbreon deals with Dragapult. That's about it. But we also get 6 0 by Azu. So, this should be really, 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 really fun. Um, big fan of Sloking here as it doesn't lose to much on their team. I'm just going to start off with it because if they go Landers, I can always go Corviknight and not care. Oh, you're for sure. Pokey. <laughs> He got me. Uh, we'll just go Corviknight on whatever attack they end up going for. If they do end up knocking me off or taking U-turn damage, uh, it's in my best interest, I would say. Now, this could be Heavy Slam. I don't want a Shifu to take damage. Uh, I do have the King, especially if they opt to get up rocks here as they go right for Overheat. Woo! That <laughs> damage. Yo. Bro, that did some damage right there. Holy crap. So, Jirachi's going to come out. I'm going to bring out my, my Marowak now as they try and Thunder Wave me. And I get my Lightning Rod special attack boost. It's time, baby. The Blizzard's coming out. The Blizzard is coming out. They're easily going to go Hydreigon, but the Blizzard is coming out. This is why I had Lightning Rod, so I can get the special attack raise for my Blizzard. <laughs> He's run about to take. <laughs> okay, nice five into Future Sight. <laughs> uh, you don't call me nuts when you went Heat Train on that. Landers comes back out. That's fine, we know there's specs now on the Heatran, so it's okay, it's manageable. You can just Brave Bird here, hits everything. Besides Jirachi, I suppose. Surprised that they expected me to double there? I mean, I don't really need to. I don't know where Clef is going to be able to beat Azu, Dragapult, Hydreigon, and potentially Landers. Honestly, Jirachi is the biggest threat to me, but I have Urshifu to hopefully have some fun versus that. Ooh, did some big damage. <laughs> big damage. Let's go ahead and bring out the king. Assuming they double here. No, they just flame. Which is unfortunate because they get a, a drop on me. But we bring out you. Bring right back out Corviknight now. And we get to defog. Oh, and they take a little bit of damage there too. Awesome. So he's going to come out. Probably go for another overheat. Sloking does tank. They can also double out to Hydreigon. But I have no idea what type of... Hydreigon, they're running. Just gonna Earthquake here. Because we live where we hit and we can knock them out. And I do have Heal Bell as well. So, Damon's gone. This can still be useful, so I might as well keep it alive. Uh, I'll go Corviknight here, as I don't think their Jirachi can touch me. Even if they want to Thunder Wave or Iron Head or do whatever. They just keep getting chip on all these Mons, and I'm okay with it. Like, I'm all for it. Dragapult comes out, and I do have an Umbreon. <laughs> I have synchronized, so I'm a little bit... Is this Scarf? What is your set? What is your set? What is what is your item on this? What the hell is your item on this? And this is defensive as hell. We'll protect once. This is definitely the Trapper set. like physically Or just physically defensive so I can deal with Urshifu. Right, that's fine. 
I'm just gonna wish up just because if they thunder wave me, then they'll be thunder wave too, so I don't have to worry as much about that. Hydreigon comes out. I'll protect. Even if they NASA plots, whatever. Superpower right there. Slat, uh. I'm not really liking Sloking too much in this. But I suppose, depending on it, I might be able to break them. So I'm gonna try and break them with Corviknight here. I'm gonna go Corviknight right now. Because I can technically U turn if I want. If I had it. <laughs> if I had it. Dude, they be doubling so much, man. I'm just trying to keep up. I'm seriously just trying to keep up. And that's banded. So I know that's banded. If they belly drum, that's whatever. As they are Whirlpool Parish Trap. Which is fine. Because I think Sloking just gets regen on this. Or tries to, anyway. I feature site first. I'm trying to think like what's the best play here. Cause knockoff again won't kill me. I'll make the Corviknight play. Again. We know they're banded Dragapult, but as long as I have Clefable, I think I'm good. This Jirachi could have No, this Jirachi's last move is Iron Head. Why is Why are you getting in here? <laughs> I'm Yo, yo, just facts, facts. Get out of here and lose in tours. Just do it, yeah. This is our game. Damn, man. Yeah, go and lose in. I'm saying. Ruining our special moment. This was a reported game. I'm simply here to check up on things. Who reported this? <laughs> that boy tried to get a win. Who the hell reported? <laughs> Whomst? I need to know. Anyway, Clefable smacks this. Clefable smacks everything on their team. I'm going to throw you away. I'm just getting regen on my mods. I'm trying to figure things out here. Is this mixed? Yes, sir. Let's click that Moonblast. No reason to double. No reason to predict. My moment. <laughs> the boy. I'm, I'm saying. That's crazy, bro. You go from number one on the ladder to tournaments, and then you just come in and ruin everything. Bro. Move yourself, Ox. What is this? What is this? What is this roleplay? I don't want to see you next to the, the, the damn... Does it actually show you? Hmm. Uh, just want to make sure we're, we're in a good situation, uh, a decent situation. You know, I'm going hard, Marowak. Star of the show. Boy, I ain't dying. I get a roost if they go lander, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> good be! <laughs> good be! What are you doing? This is Marowak. The star of the show. The star of the show. How dare you? Okay. Let's see if we can get the Thunder Wave out. I will preserve. You're a demon if you go for Thunder Wave here, dude. <laughs> what if this is weakness policy? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, relax, 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 relax. We don't need, we don't need no jokes about that. We don't need no jokes about that. Yeah, good game. So, uh, Marowak smacked the damn Dragapult on the high ladder. That's great. I also landed a Blizzard, which was really fun. On a Pokemon that I could have Earthquaked and send it flying. I'll pause until we find a game, actually. I'll be right back. <laughs> I was uh, playing just some random games with the Reggie Lecky team. I recorded that Reggie Lecky team on th with Thursday or Friday, by the way. But yesterday was uh, Saturday night. Technically Sunday morning, because I was playing like at 1 or 2 a.m. And I played this person, I think, three times. I think I went 2-1. 
and the one time I loaded up this team, <laughs> and they smacked me <laughs> with the damn goaler. <laughs> so this will be interesting. This will be Ella interesting. Do you do you live Marwa? Do you live a Draco from Dragapult? Cause that, cause that that makes all the difference. Ninety six to one thirteen. Honestly, that's a decent roll. Shoot. No, I got you, Z. I don't care if they go Dragapult. Who ain't Drake going? Watch this SmackDown. <laughs> it's okay. I got the chip I needed for Surging Strike, so it's fine. It's hella fine. What did they even go into? I got a damn Umbreon right here. Garchomp. Foul play. Okay. Nice little wish up. How do you beat this one? It did nothing. <laughs> they can't kill me with plus two, so I might as well wish because I'll kill them with foul play after. Better bring out the homie right now. Because it lives uh, with Stealth Rock 2. 199. Let's go, baby. Yeah! My wish came true. Hell yeah, my wish came true. They gave me Blissey. That's all my wish. That's always my wish. Go ahead and die to this SmackDown. I didn't, I didn't kill it. I didn't freaking kill it. I, I threw. I threw. I, th I threw. It's fine though. This is special. Wish up here. Back to the homie. Because I know this is special. Bring down Slow King. Mess him up with that. Melmetal is a giant threat too, but as long as I have the, uh, I think the future site plus that, I'm good. I'm surprised they would do that. Alright, they might Sizen Toss here, but if I bring out Urshifu, I get a kill, so I'm going to Urshifu. Yeah, they had to go like Zapdos or something. Exactly. Bring out the goat again. I wonder if they have Voltage. Hurricane. So this is do a good chunk. I'll feature that once, but I was worried about them going Goal Lurk there. I'm going to be completely honest. Alright, yeah, they do have the Voltage. I'm assuming Blissey comes out. Let me bring out Urshifu here, because that should be a, a kill in theory. Depending on what they bring out, that's a kill. Because, uh, I mean, Pult doesn't die, but they don't actually have a good switch in now. 51%. I'm doing it. I don't care if I get I Hopefully I avoid it, but... Yeah, we avoided it. Great. So we got rid of Zapdos. Awesome. So now I technically beat them with Corviknight. They U turn here. Marowak is slower than everything, so Marowak's a sack. Because I can't have them U turning out into Goal Lurk and getting a kill. I mean, they can still technically go Goal Lurk and get a kill. I can't stop that. Um, but I can't have that thing coming out. Other than put them you there. I bring out you, and I wish up. Because they can't stop my Corviknight. I don't want them to double, and I get good damage off on them as well, because I live this hit. Yeah, I, I barely do, but I live it. That's important. This is Umbreon. This is mvev Plus, I can protect in front of Golurk, Dragapult, Blissey, and I have Heal Bell, so I don't really care. So if they want to Toxic, that's fine. It's, it's just a double Toxic for both of us. And I now get to Heal Bell. So my homie's back at full. They teleport. don't matter. You going for Blissey again? They're trying to get Golurk in, which I don't want. I'm assuming they'd U turn. But either way, I click foul play. 
Because I need a Wish Pass or a Shifu. Yeah, this is always the... Heal Bell there is fine. I'm just trying to like make sure I don't lose the Golurk. That's the thing. Because like I said, I can beat 1, 2, and th 4 with Umbreon. And I get a kill the second I get on our Shifu. But I got to be like safe to not throw away you know, a position where I win. Especially because Foul Play is so strong here. That's a weird turn to do it. In my opinion. Corvi eats every hit, and I get a little bit of chip on them for Surgeon Strikes. I'm going to defog that way Umbreon doesn't have to deal with the uh, Poltergeist. I don't think I body press once as they go Pult. Fire Blast shouldn't kill me in one. Alright, so they definitely died of Surgeon Strikes now. Umbreon doesn't give a damn either. I'm going Clef. Tired of this. I'm assuming you always go. Eh, let me just Moonblast. Like, I, my health doesn't matter either. Like, my health doesn't actually matter on this Pokemon. If I get damage off on Golurk, I'm good. If I get damage off on this, I'm good. They could. They should Poltergeist here, but. I don't think I'm. I don't think I can lose even if they can spam Draco. Is what I'm saying because I always have Slow King as a, a pivot. So I rather than Poltergeist here, and then you get a little bit of chip on them, and then Umbreon after because it's hella safe. Say Superpower or Double Iron Bash. I go Clef, so I get a little bit of chip. Perfect, and now I get my kill. Right back, which is what I wanted. It's a sack. I'm surprised they sack Garchomp. That's the faster mon besides Dragapult that guarantees a, a death. Is either Draco or U turn here? Surprise you, Shadow Ball as well. It's the same thing. It doesn't actually do anything to me. And I always have my, I always have Umbreon to go out into, so it's just like, it's weird. Do you Dynamic Punch or Earthquake? It's a throw if I double to a Shifu, but I really, really want to. Let me just Flamethrower instead of Melmetal. Metal. They superpower raw, it's annoying. Thunder Punch is annoying too. I think Umbreon is all I need to win. I should be able to live one, so I'm a, I'm a roost. Yep. Awesome, and I get the pressure on them, which is really cool. Now I can bring Umbreon and Wish up. Bring it or Shifu, because if they click Toxic... I, I basically kill these two mods, so it's a wrap. Shout out to Marowak for coming in once and not killing the Mon because of my stupidity. <laughs> nice. And this should be a kill. That was a little risky, I guess, of a, a double. Oh, I actually didn't kill Blissey. Which is fine, though, because I think everything else does. Oh no, they clicked the wrong move. <laughs> they they should have teleported there because it made sure that I didn't get a kill that turn. And now I get the kill on Blissey, which means that I win <laughs> with Corviknight. Or I'm going to throw away Corviknight right here because it doesn't matter. Peace. Good game. They were 1900 or something. I mean, I already knew that because I played them like 100 times last time. All right. We'll pause it. I'll be right back. Man, why I gotta play this? <laughs> Yo! This is the damn team that Jamvat always plays. Every single... Well, he hasn't played in a while. 
Well, this is a damn team that Jam always played every single lap. I think that Clefable beats a lot of their team because I'm combined unaware, which is awesome. I'm gonna lead off with Marowak because Marowak is very fun. Please live. You have EVs on all sides, and Marowak has that, you know. Oh, perfect. Gone. <laughs> nice. Marowak gets a kill. I don't know what's supposed to happen here, but I'm gonna go you then click future site. Jesus, they did a lot. <laughs> um, I'm assuming you go for Hydro Pump here, right? They could be Sash. I have Unaware Clef, which can beat Cloyster and Corviknight, so I'm going to keep that alive. Uh, or Shifu Revenge kills this, sort of. And the only way I don't lose the Polter uh, Poltergeist is that. So I think, <laughs> goodbye Marowak, you deserve a good I should just hit them. Look at them smashing again. What a demon. What a demon. Alright, so we know they have Focus Sash. I think... Is this something to the top? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Not in this one, my friend. I believe that Clef, like I said, lives. So I'm I'm gonna go out to it. I, I barely take it. But I'm gonna go out to it and just Moonblast. Yeah, okay, wait, wait. I took it really, really well. There's nothing to the top here. Nothing's... Nothing to the top is happening here. Uh, Lele comes out... Corviknight is my play. I believe I just clicked Body Press. I clicked that on the wrong uh, the wrong Pokemon, but I should get a kill with her Shifu right after, which is cool. And uh, Future Sight shouldn't matter either. I'll just go for my own Future Sight. Then I'll throw away Corviknight here. On their Future Sight. And then I bring out her Shifu, and that should be a kill. Wait, there's Sash Cloyster, right? This mod took so much damage. <laughs> I think I go for it again as they go Cloyster. And then I go for it again. And then I go for it again. <laughs> and then I win the game. <laughs> they can't do anything to Urshifu. <laughs> this person, 1900 plus. So they take two from me by doing this. But I, I should be able to always go you. Moonblast for some damage there. Moonblast again to get a little bit more chip. And then sack Slow King. Let him Brave Bird so I can bring out Clef and Softball Duck. And, because I, like I said, I don't think this beats me 1v1, so I just calm mind up repeatedly until my, uh, until my Moonblast are breaking their sub, and then I kill them with Flamethrower. Yeah, they can't even crit through me. Cool. That's some delicious damage you got right there. Let's go ahead and kill you. Basically, I didn't want to Surgeon Strikes them and only have uh, one left. Well, did I have one or did I have two? I can't see. It's a wrap, bro. Sorry. You lose. Good game. Hey, not bad. I shout to Marowak too. That SBO went flying. I should have just clicked it on Alma Star too, but damn it. Uh, Underwear Clef for obviously MVP. That had to be timid Alma Star to be doing that little with Hydro Pump as well, because that's a that's a strong mon. But yeah, basically they had pressure on Corviknight, so if I went for Surgeon Strikes and killed it, I lost two, and then I think that well they were at 12 HP to be fair, so I guess I could have U-turn. Um, and Poltergeist would have lost Umbreon, which is why I never let it take damage. I don't know. I'll pause it. We'll be right back. Alright, so this game's gonna be annoying. Um, I think that Future Sight's gonna be my way of winning, for sure. And I'm gonna try and poison, uh, this Mon early, but we'll see. This is gonna be very annoying. But Future Sight plus Marowak seems decent, especially because I get to go for the Smackdown. But they do have two Pokemon that can deal with it as well. But yeah, Slowking, uh, pretty early, regardless of what they do. I'll aim for some burns on this thing early too. I suppose they could be spite as well. Yeah, that's fine. Get the future side off. If I bring out Urshifu on a knockoff, I basically hella lose, right? I'll go for a burn here. I'm assuming you go Corviknight now. I'm still gonna go for a burn. 
We throw off another future sight. I better chief, even if they double thunder wave, it doesn't matter. And if I go for surging strikes, if I go for close combat and they stay in, I kill them. I'm a surging strike here. Because even if they thunder wave, which would be scary, um, I don't want them going torn. Like, thunder wave would suck, but I'm still faster, which is the important part. Holy crap. <laughs> Mecha wish pass, but damn, man. That's annoying. And this is plot, too. Of course it is. He even the hurricane. Smacks me. Uh, Skull, Rocky Helmet. Can they break this? For Thunder Wave, Softball, Toxic. Oh, please be Hazeless. Please be Hazeless. Just be Hazeless. I'm just trying to think, like, what is my strongest way of, like, beating this? Because this Tox Specs doesn't look like it can beat me 1v1. I'll go for Flame, see if I can get a burn. As they miss a Tox there. Like, offensively, their giant threat is the damn uh, Torn, right? So, Torn is a huge threat. I want to make sure I can beat Chansey, too. They are Spadef on Hippo, though. Alright, yeah, I don't want them to go this. I mean, my Rocky Helmet doesn't matter. Yeah, there's, there's hella matters versus me, but mine does it. This Mon smacks me, yo. <laughs> this Mon hella smacks me. Well, that's a little bit greedy, considering I can just dodge. Future Sight. Mail Act Time plus Future Sight. Smackdown on Corviknight. Earthquake Time. Earthquake Time. There is no way. Get the hell out of here. This is a demon. Nah, I don't care. You a demon if you're trying to beat this 1v1. Maybe they do. This damn Corviknight and this damn Rocky Helmet packs. I am getting 1v1 by Corviknight though. I can't even deny it. I, I, I hella am. If I crit them now, that would suck. For them. I'm assuming they try and go Tornadus this turn. Yeah, whatever. Let me go for the crit. If they're going to give me a chance, I'll go for it. Now we go for Fire Punch Burn. Clef has to be Aromatherapy. I wish this was Swords Dance too. And their Helmet. Time to go for the Blizzard Freeze! <sighs> so Sloking does beat this 1v1. Which means I get the Future Sight off always. I need to try and heal Umbreon. Then I need to try and heal everything. <laughs> So you can go for Heal Bell here. Heal my homies. And then Marowak without Earthquake is so useless. I don't think this can touch. I'm just gonna try and pass it to Shifu. If they if they if they actually have Sizem Toss as their last move, then so be it, right? Don't think they should risk this hurricane. Future sight. Alright, it's time. I'm back in. So I should, again, in theory, get a kill right now. I'm gonna go for the Surgeon Strike again. Yeah. Oh, this damn Rocky Helmet is so frustrating, bro. Because all I gotta do is Roost. They don't even gotta go Corviknight. 
I'll flame in case they're crazy. Oh, I got the burn, which is what I wanted. Nice. I'm gonna flame again. Alright, we'll feature side right here. Umbreon should be good. Heal bell right now. The homies are back. I just realized I didn't wish up. I got a free CC, which is cool. And I shouldn't die to helmet. I realized I clicked Future Sight instead of the, the heal bell, so this is my bad. Yeah, so you die. I get the wish back. You 6 on me as long as you hit your attacks. I guess I just smack down and then get walled by Pex. Seems about right. <laughs> and they just thunder wave me. <laughs> Unaware. Hmm, do I? Damn, man, regular Calm Mind also won. Uh, like I said, if if they land their attacks, I lose anyway, so I might as well just play off you know, that not happening and, and aim for some future sites again. Because if they get rocks in front of me enough, I can obviously pressure saw them away. I'm assuming you go out to Torn. That's it's similar. It's the same thing. Like if they hit this enough, they win. But if I get a poison on them, I have a chance too. They have to hit their attack to win here. I'm willing to go off it. Yeah, good game, dude. Uh, that was uh, that was rough, man. Like my uh, my Marowak being stalled out was just hella rough. I, I did misplay though. Um, I completely blanked on Future Sight versus Wish. But that was still nasty. All right, we're going to look for another. That was, that was my bad, though. We got one. We got one, bros. Round. Oh, it's you. Oh, well, we both went bound to the 1860s, so that's pretty cool. They have a... <laughs> they have some threats. I choose you, Marowak. Smackdown time. Into Fire Punch. Because they could go Rillable. Yes. I don't know if this kills. I do have some attack investment. Well, now it kills. And the great thing is I can always go Corviknight and actually not lose my Rocky Helmet because if they knock off here uh, and you die to the Rocky Helmet, you don't lose it. So that's cool. Interesting. Interesting. I have Underwear Cleft to deal with one, two, three. I need this thing for Mammoth Slime, but I also win the game with her Shifu, too. Just Fire Punch there, because I figured I'd get a kill. Yeah. Goodbye, my child. This looking looks useless. Like, legitimately useless, so I'm going to throw it away. And then I'll try and defog in front of the, uh... I think I roost first and then try and defog after. Because they can still crash beat me 1v1. And this should die here, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Is this mixed? Is it life orb? Ah, it was! But the defog was worth it because her Shifu smacks literally everything on their team. So I just get to bring out the homie. Which doesn't take any damage from anything. Protect up. Corviknight, you're useless. Bring out you and click Surging Strikes. You're dead. Shouldn't lose the Bisharp. I guess you have potential here. Not if I foul play directly into that. <laughs> 
It should be a wrap now. All I gotta do is foul play so they can't double, even if they SD. Yeah, good game, dude. Good game. Not bad. Now, shout to Marowak, man. One and two killed. Smack Garchomp as well. Didn't really get to Blizzard, so I hope Envy got to Ice Beam. At least. I hope he fought more landers. I didn't really I fought one landers. I hope he fought more landers than I did. I know he fought more landers than I did. But almost 1900 with uh with Marowak, which is pretty crazy. Uh, we did get smacked in that stall game. I I kinda wanna try him for another one. Well, how much time are we at in this video? That's eleven minutes on this section. Which is 35. It's 509. I gotta take the dog for a walk. Okay. Alright, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, of course, if you did, leave a like. Okay, if I if I if it's a really short, if it's a really fast game, I can I can play it. But if it's not, I gotta go. Like I gotta go. So I'm gonna look for another one. I'm gonna look for one more. And if I lose, I gotta end it on that. But which I don't wanna lose, obviously. And I'm thinking between the time that I played that game as well that Okay, we got a Landers, which is cool. Got a lot of cool mons here. Or Shifu smacks. I'm assuming that's a uh, trick. This. Marowak looks hella good too. Corviknight looks great as well. We gotta be careful around Kartana if it's SD Smart Strike. Because Smart Strike can break through Clef. But at full HP, I can live, which means I can Flamethrower if it boosts. Rillaboom is really good in me, and so is Tapu Fini. They end up leading off with the wrong lead versus me, though. So I'm just gonna click Sergeant Strikes and not predict. We see them take leftovers there. I do have a Slow King as a very easy switch in. Even if they double out into Weavile or Kartana, it doesn't make a difference. We'll bring on Marowak here. And we'll go our Shifu now. What the hell was that? I don't know what I'm supposed to predict about that. Yeah, I'm expecting I expected them to go Rillaboom, so I uh, I made that play. And then uh, I think we just click body press here because it hits Heatran. Nice. I let my Ashifu take damage though, which is really dumb on me. But luckily I can just future sight and not care as much either. They could have heavy slam though, which would make this game a lot harder, but the earth power, which is great. And the second turn of grassy terrain, I think allows me to beat them 1v1. Weavile comes out, we go Corvi on the knock and roost up. These damn magma storms, man. I don't want to lose to you by giving them Slow King. I think I go Marowak and pray I dodge. <laughs> yeah. Ton of Blizzard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, Marowak. There you go, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. It wasn't me, but thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, it was me. <laughs> Alright, so we can bring out our Shifu now. Click close combat because it gets a kill. 36%. Even if they double now, I still go king. I go to the king. I think I Earthquake into Weavile and very good double on the opponent's part. Uh, Magma Storm does so much damage, man. Damn it. I'm really worried about that. Uh... I'm really, 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 really worried, man. Charging Strikes gets me a kill guaranteed on something, but Close Combat doesn't let in cart, so I can just click Close Combat here. It's a damn heat run that's a threat, that's the problem. Like, they bring it in on a double, or if I... I have to double a lot. Plus this thing kind of beats me 1v1 too. Uh, 
Uh, I think I just lose to Heat Sharon. Umbreon doesn't do anything, so. I'll attempt to protect. Wish up, excuse me. Oh, okay, so they're not. Well, that's interesting. Because they don't have, uh, they, they don't have, what's it called? Maybe they don't have taunt? I still pass to obviously my clef, but. <sighs> okay, maybe they don't have taunt. Which means I can moonblast spam. They do have it. All right, so we just moonblast, moonblast, moonblast. Their their special attack doesn't matter to me. Uh, it's more so making sure Shifu can smack them, which I don't think it can. Uh, this is gonna be hard, man. This end game is gonna be difficult. I always think I Brave Bird this first turn. Well, I just I just lose to Cartana, don't I? Sacred Sword spam. Alright, I got the roost off, which is cool, but it doesn't actually help me win now. Because they do too much. I just lose the Sacred Swords, bam. Maybe, maybe foul play, uh... Maybe foul play or Shifu. It was tough because, like, the Heatran with Grassy Terrain, lo uh, I lose to that. Rhyperior would have been really good here, too. But now I don't want to end it on a loss, but I have to. Even if I crit close combat, doesn't matter. Good game, dude. I got the blizzard off, which was really fun. Ah, uh, okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. I can't do a loss. I hate ending a loss. I got this one again, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I put such R N K. Um, eighteen sixty five. It's the same as always. It's annoying. All right, they always go dragapult. So, <laughs> shoot. We're gonna go Umbreon. If they click Earthquake or Dynamic Punch, I lose, but I'm pretty sure they Poltergeist first. Exactly. I always Poltergeist first with that, because you can go Corviknight. Hmm. <laughs> Zapdos, most likely. Their mixed Garchomp, which doesn't beat Umbreon. So that's good, because I get a Wish up. As long as like these mods are taking damage, I'm in a good spot always. Maybe if they teleport again, yeah, good, good, good. So I lose nothing by clicking defog every single time. Okay, so wish to bliss. I think I go with Shifu, which allows in Dragapult and Zapdos. Also Garchomp, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, I need to position myself with Marowak. The good thing is, this keeps out these guys. Alright, I want to take a little bit of damage if I go with Clefable, so. Nice. Mmm. Brown and Toxic. And I teleport. Into Garchomp again. <laughs> Man, this mod's annoying. You know what? I've had enough. I ain't dying. Give me a kill. Hell yeah, I ain't dying. Go ahead and give me this. That really sucks. And I'm gonna take full advantage. 
So I eat every hit they go for here. So I can wish into protect and not care. And whatever comes out, I can protect on. So I'm really hey, shout out to Marrow. I don't care. I don't care if they hit me with that. Like I was tired of them doing being able to do this infinitely. I guess it was a wrap. All right. Well, 1880 plus. I don't think they can, they can win this. Uh, they can beat this, excuse me, which is probably the truth to be honest, because I would always wish pass with Umbreon indefinitely. Uh, we're gonna end on that. So 1880 plus with Marowak, almost got to 1900 with Marowak, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got a Blizzard off on Landers, which is pretty awesome, pretty awesome. That that was actually really awesome. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, I will see you guys next time. That's it. Leave a like. Check out my Drop Draco merch. Peace.